did a video about a year ago about organizing my shop. I cleaned everything up and I showed you ways that you could save space in your shop with a bunch of ideas and hacks that I've done to some of my tools. And today we're basically going to organize our toolbox by using some accessories and hacks that we got from Harbor Freight to kind of clean it up a little bit. Cause there's nothing worse than a messy toolbox. I know personally. Anyway, let's get in this video. Number one. Honestly, this is probably one of the most handy things I've put in my toolbox. These here are the magnetic plier holders. And I bought those like five years ago. Before I got them, my pliers were just threw in here and it was a big old mess. Kinda like the other side is now. Because I bought more pliers in the last five years and I filled this up. So now it's starting to pile up again. So I picked me up some plier racks at Harbor Freight. And they have these kind and they have a metal rack that reminds you of a closet shelf that's been bent kind of if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I opted to get this one. And I mean, this thing looks like it's decent. This bottom part is actually aluminum. And these little dividers right here are adjustable, so you can adjust these to the size you need them to fit whatever kind of pliers or wrenches that you want to put in there. But we're gonna try them out in here and see if we can make this drawer just a little bit better. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> You can kind of see now how this makes your drawers a lot more organized. I actually just moved my longer tools over to one side and I put my new rack on this side and I got my old racks on that side. I had to move a couple of tools, they're just not for this drawer. But as you can see, now I got room for expansion as well. Number two. Sockets are probably the most organized tool out there. There's probably more ways to organize sockets than anything else. And most of them come with some kind of organization product with it. But they're not always that good because they're hard to get in and out. Or they just don't fit in your drawer good. And Harbor Freight has like four or five, maybe even six different socket organization accessories available. Like these metal clips right here. I really like them for sockets sockets that I don't use a lot, like my Allen sockets. I got my long sockets on some, and I got my short sockets on some of these. And you can get the same type things, but they have plastic ends. This one right here has four rolls made on it. I basically use this for specialty sockets that I don't use a lot, like my torch bits. And actually, I think these sockets right here are for stripped out nuts and bolts. But you kind of get what I'm saying. But by far, my favorite socket holders are these plastic trays that you can get at Harbor Freight. And no, they're not the best in the world, but when you have a whole lot of sockets, I mean, they're way more affordable than most of them out there. So every time you buy a pack, you get three of them. So if you buy 10 packs, you'll have 30 of these things. And they make them for standard sockets and they make them for metric sockets. Quarter, three eighths, and half inch drive. There's all kinds of socket holders out there, but the ones at Harbor Freight, they work pretty good. Number three. Most of us have seen these type of wrench holders. Heck, most of our wrenches came in something like this. You know what I'm saying. And there's nothing wrong with these. I mean, they even got holes in them so you can hang these things up. But taking them out is like doing a jigsaw puzzle. And then you gotta put them back in the same way. And Harbor Freight probably has five different kinds of these at least but i prefer these type of wrench holders they have a magnetic bottom and it sticks to the bottom of your drawer and when you put these things in your drawer you want to kind of make a v because your big wrenches are longer than your short wrenches you know what i'm saying and these really are the kind that i like the best because i can just pick up a wrench use it and when i'm done I just put my wrench back and I'm good to go. Harbor Freight also has these little tiny wrench holders like them right there. This wrench holder here is kind of like the one I showed you to start with. Something I really like about any type of tool holder. Let's say we used a 24 millimeter wrench, right? We got it over here on our job and we working on something and we forget to put it up. Well, the next time we go to get a wrench out, we immediately notice that we have a wrench missing. That's honestly 
probably one of the things that I really like about tool holders is you notice when stuff's missing. Just like I was noticing, I got a lot of sockets missing earlier, I'm just saying. Number four. Now another type of tool holder that comes in really handy is a screwdriver rack. This screwdriver rack right here holds 14 screwdrivers. If you notice, you have a small side, a big side, a small side, a big side. The reason it's made like that, so you can put your screwdriver handle on one side and the shaft on the other. Another type of screwdriver holder is kind of just like the first one, but this one has big side, small side, big side. Oh, and they do have magnetic bottoms, by the way. But what you do with these is the same thing. You go handle, shaft, handle, shaft, handle, shaft. And you can put all of your screwdrivers in something like this. And because it's movable, you can adjust this thing to whatever size screwdrivers that you have. Now what I've been using is these magnetic screwdriver holders right here. And the way they work is you just lay your shafts in them and the shafts stick to the magnets. And they keep your screwdrivers organized. See how these screwdrivers are rolling around? These screwdrivers won't move because the magnets hold them. But Harbor Freight has several different kinds of screwdriver holders to help you organize your toolbox. That's uh, all I'm saying. Also, if you're like me and you like the electric variety of screwdriver, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Harbor Freight also has these bit holders and they're pretty dang handy because you can put any sort of bit that you need and you use a lot in it and it has a magnetic bottom so it won't move once it's in your drawer and the magnetic bottom helps hold the bits in. I like tools with magnetic bottoms. That way when I put them in my drawer, they don't slide around. You know what I mean? Now, when I left Harbor Freight, I went to Lowe's and looked at some of their organizers. I'm gonna tell you right now, their organizers are not bad at all, but they're all about twice as high as what Harbor Freights are. And you and me both know that they come from the same place. But all I know is Lowe's costs more, okay? Number five. Now, another good way to get tool holders is to buy your tools with tool holders. And generally, only good tools come with good tool holders. Like, for instance, Snap-on and Mac. Everybody knows that they make good tools and they have good tool holders. Now, Harbor Freight also has a brand, and they are more expensive. But their new brand, Icon Tools, they all come with their own tool holder. And I think that's pretty cool. Like I said, they are more expensive, but they're nowhere near as high as Mac or Snap-on. And Bluepoint, which Snap-on owns, by the way. Snap-on actually owns Cobalt, Bluepoint, and Snap-on. They may even own more, I don't know. And these Cobalt wrenches right here don't say it anywhere but these were made in China you see how they're all rounded off these are the Chinese cobalts <laughs> and the price came down when they started making them like this. Some of you guys may be too young to remember, when Cobalt first come out, cause they were owned by Snap-on, their wrenches were exactly like Snap-on and they were made in the USA. See what I'm saying? USA. But if you've got the real USA Cobalt wrenches, they're not rounded, they're flat, just like Snap-on wrenches. These Cobalt made in China. These cobalt were made in America. And I say all that just to say that most of the tools you buy now are made in China, even your big name tools. Snap-on's actually been caught sneaking in Chinese wrenches and putting Snap-on on them, and they got called out on a lot of YouTube videos. They built the brand on Made in the USA. However, all but the most basic tools these days are not made in the USA at all. I'm not a Snap-on hater either, but if I'm going to pay for Chinese tools, I'd rather to go somewhere like Harbor Freight and pay a Chinese price. I don't want to pay an American price to get Chinese tools. That's all I'm saying. Six. Now, when it comes to ratchets, it's a little bit harder to find holders for your ratchets. I mean, there's some out there, but it's just a little bit harder to do. But I have bought ratchets that comes with their own ratchet holders. These particular ratchets are gear wrench ratchets, and I bought them because they got the flexible heads. Help you get into tight places better. But these gear ratchets come with their own holders, and I kind of like that. But I do have other ratchets that don't have holders. What you 
can do is get some of that matting from Harbor Freight. You know the little mats that you put down the floor to stand on? They come in the rolls and they come in like six packs. <laughs> You can take and trace out your tools, get you a handful of those cheap knives that they sell at Harbor Freight, and cut these mats out and make it to where you can put your ratchets right into them. As you can see, I used two mats. I cut out the wrench, and then I put a mat below it. But this is a really good way to organize your ratchets. And I'm not going to give away the secret to where I got this idea from. I'm just saying. I glued two of them together to do mine. But you can get really thick mats like this. And they're called knee mats. And they sell them at Harbor Freight. And they're for putting your knees on when you're working on stuff. But get you a mat and make your own holder. Seven. Seven. You know, most toolbox come with these drawer mats now, and they're just like a soft rubber. But if yours didn't come with any, you can buy rolls of this stuff at Harbor Freight. They have the smooth drawer mats like this right here, and they have this type of material like this that's not smooth. Made to get a better grip, I guess, but they do have both kinds at Harbor Freight. And if you have some tools that you don't have some type of holder for, these actually work good because they keep stuff from sliding around inside of your drawer look at that even my stickers don't slide around that i got at catcon <laughs> number eight eight now harbor freight sells these plastic trays and these trays are designed to go in your well box drawer i actually do use these trays in my toolboxes see what i'm saying I actually use these trays. And I think they make like three different sizes of these things. These little dividers that you can put in your toolbox come in really, really handy for organizing all of your tools. I actually use these to organize all of my extensions and some of my other little parts. You know what I'm saying? Number nine. Now, one of my favorite things that you can get at Harbor Freight for toolboxes are the add-ons that they have. They have add-ons like this one right here that basically holds my rubber gloves. So if I need a rubber glove, I can just jerk one out. And all these add-ons come with magnets on the back of them and they stick right to any toolbox. You know, you could also use this one for like Kleenexes, I guess. They got drink holder add-ons, which I keep my water in while I'm working. But see what I mean? They come with magnets on them, you just, Stick them right to your toolbox. Then you can put your water in there. See what I'm saying? This one here has like a spray can holder. I guess you could put paint in it. I keep WD-40 in mine. And it has like a screwdriver holder made into it. And they got some that'll hold paper towels for you. They've got add-on shelves that you can add on to your toolbox. They got all kinds of stuff. They even sell magnets to match your toolbox that's got hooks on them. And you can hang stuff like drop cords or whatever on it. They're kind of like these hooks that I got in my toolbox that I hang my Golden Whisker Awards, which is like a YouTube channel thing that they do every year. And I've won a couple of them. These little hooks right here are cool, but I really like the ones that they got for bigger stuff that matches your toolbox too. And I picked one of these up at the same section. What it is, is a power strip. It's got five plugins and it's got two USB plugins. It comes with magnets already on it. And what I was thinking was about putting this one on my weld table. So let's put it on there and see. I think these were actually designed for the roll around carts. This thing's got some strong magnets on it too. But see, my idea was to like put this thing right here on my weld cart. But now that I got this strip on my weld table, instead of having to plug everything to my drop cord, unplug it, plug it back in, unplug it, plug it back. Cause I'm usually going from my welder to my grinder and to my saw and stuff like that. But now instead of having to plug it up and unplug it, I can just plug this drop cord right into this power strip and I can plug everything in here and I don't have to keep doing that. That's actually a cool little idea. And I seen something there that's pretty cool. They got a cordless drill hole. I'm just saying. Number 10. Now this next idea I started to do for this video, but 
I couldn't find one. You know how every toolbox has this lip right here? Like this is the bottom toolbox and then you got the top toolbox on top of it. But there's always a lip on each side and all the way around to the back. Well, you can buy an add-on toolbox and it just hangs by that lip. And it had some at Harbor Freight, but they didn't have any black ones like my toolbox. But you can get one of these add-on toolboxes and hang it on that lip right there. And then you're adding storage and organization to your existing toolbox instead of buying a new toolbox. I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, add-on toolbox, that's pretty cool. I'm just saying, I'm just saying people. Number 11. Now I've had my welder on several other videos, but I wanted to point out that Harbor Freight sells weld carts that are basically just nothing but toolboxes, which really comes in handy for organizing your weld tools. You know what I'm saying? Well, using a toolbox for a weld cart was not Harbor Freight's idea by any means. Welders have been doing this for years. I got an awesome one and I got a video on how I made this, but this wasn't my idea neither, but it's still cool to have a way to organize all your tools even your weld tools by the way if you're interested in welding i got a welding video that i just did a few weeks ago and last week i made a video about how to easily and cheaply cut metal you know what i'm saying number 12 now another way you could organize tools is just by hanging them up i'm just saying my toolbox has this magnetic strip made in the back of it like here's my badge from catcon this year and that little clip will stick to that magnetic strip. And Harbor Freight sells magnetic strips if you don't have any in your toolbox that you could add to it. Something else I've noticed about the new toolboxes is a lot of them are coming out with pegboard on them. And honestly, at first, I wasn't crazy about it. But I'm starting to kind of like those pegboard toolboxes. And some of the shells and brackets and stuff that they're making for them are made really, really good and heavy. My wife actually has a pegboard board in her craft room but i think she got hers from ikea i mean look at it, it's really cool pegboards have come a long way since i was a kid and harbor freight has a great selection of pegs to go on your pegboard if you want to organize your tools that way well that should help us get our toolbox a little bit neater you know what i'm saying because i love stuff being more organized you know what I'm saying? Hey, if you like this video, then you should probably go check out one of these videos because I'm sure I got another video that you're gonna like just as much. So go check it out. I'm serious, because this video is over.